pleasure for me to welcome uh, Dana Dornsif. Dana Dornsif is an exceptional leader to the University of Southern California, and she and her husband Dave have had an enormous impact on this university in their service as trustees, uh, but also in their service to the USC Norris and to our cancer community. And in particular, I want to just thank Dana for her personal friendship, the way in which she advocates for patients and makes it possible for us to bring patients to the Norris and remove obstacles to help people get onto clinical trials. She serves as the founder and the president of the Lazarix Cancer Foundation, and you're going to hear more uh, from this wonderful person and partner. Uh, Dana, thank you for joining us today. Okay, well, two things before I get serious on everyone. Um, number one is, um, I wish you hadn't told me how many viewers were watching because now I'm really nervous, okay? And the second thing is, I am not going to be the one who gets us behind, so I may uh, speak a little more rapidly than I, I normally would to get through the presentation in a timely manner. Sorry, just trying to get the lay of the land here. So first of all, um, I want to just thank you, Dr. Gruber, um, for your collaborative leadership across the spectrum of cancer care and for embracing the value of the Lazarus Cancer Foundation Impact Program uh, and participating as a founding partner. Also, thank you for the opportunity to include Lazarus Cancer Foundation and the Impact Partnership in the USC Norris Satellite Moonshot Summit to address this audience on behalf of the 1.7 million people who will be diagnosed with cancer and the 600,000 who will die from cancer this year alone. That's 4,620 new cases and 1,630 deaths every day. All of you have and will continue to hear about the latest and greatest science and medicine has to offer the cancer community. Taking cancer research to the molecular level, protein expression signatures, immunotherapy, personalized medicine. Okay. I'm here today to bring this all for full circle, to shift our focus for a few moments to cancer patients, to the challenges of actually converting benchside progress to viable bedside therapies for them, to concentrate on patients stricken with cancer who involuntarily fuel this industry with opportunity to supply new products and technologies to meet an ever-growing demand for treatments and cures that are synonymous with life. So what are moonshot and translational science really all about? People. People afflicted with cancer who deserve equitable access to medical breakthroughs and technology that could save their lives. Yet all too often, we leave humanity out of the scientific and medical equations. All of this is extraordinarily important, but if we miss the ultimate target, actually, translating knowledge into application for the benefit of cancer patients, what have we gained? If we celebrate success in the lab and fail to deliver new technologies to patients, who have we served? How can we fix the total misalignment between cancer patients who desperately want to benefit from medical breakthroughs and technology in their quest for life and the thousands of clinical trials that desperately depend on patient participation to succeed. We have two simple requests of Vice President Biden, Greg Simon, and the Moonshot Initiative that will cost Moonshot nothing, but will bring transformational and sustainable change to clinical trial enrollment, retention, minority participation, provide equitable access, and transfer technology to market faster. Our requests are to support 
the creation of FDA regulatory language that lifts the veil of inducement from industry and addresses the barriers to clinical trial participation and to endorse our impact program as a component of Moonshot and for continuity of the NCI in their efforts going forward. For 10 years, Lazarus Cancer Foundation has focused on removing barriers to clinical trial participation for advanced stage patients. We've provided clinical trial navigation services and financial assistance to thousands of patients and their travel companions based on financial need, achieving equitable access to the treatment opportunities clinical trials can provide. Lack of knowledge, financial constraints, support network interruption, historical, cultural, and language issues, and socioeconomic factors are individual barriers to clinical trial participation. In combination, they create an impenetrable wall. It's no secret that barriers to, can to cancer clinical uh, trial enrollment exist. 5% of eligible patients participate, and of those who do, less than 5% are from minority communities, unless you happen to live near uh, Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center. <laughs> Most patients go to their graves never having known that clinical trials were an option. 11% of trials never enroll a single patient. 37% are grossly under-enrolled. Financial burden is the primary reason patients cite for not participating in a clinical trial. We work so hard at the bench side and spend billions of dollars there, and yet, incredibly, almost 50% of trials fail to meet their completion targets due to lack of enrollment. We must take the burden of participation off the shoulders of patients if we need more to participate and increase the rate and number of treatments that currently trickle through from bench to bedside. The services we provide at Lazarex are noble and in great demand, but they are not sustainable. Lazarex is pleased to announce the creation of impact which stands for Improving Patient Access to Clinical Trials. IMPACT brings together the significant resources of academic institutions, medical facilities and professionals, policymakers, industry, public health entities, and community organizations nationwide to leverage their academic, medical, socioeconomic, policy, research, ethnic, racial, and geographic assets. The deliverable from this three-year pilot program is to create a replicable boots-on-the-ground action plan, bringing significant and sustainable change to the status quo of clinical trial enrollment, retention, minority participation, completion, and translational science, providing equitable and timely patient access to cancer discovery. IMPACT has four primary areas of focus improving patient engagement and participation at the research and clinical trial level, focusing on patient navigation at the community level, including the most at-risk patients, increasing education and community outreach efforts about clinical trials and early detection at the patient, social service, and medical professional levels, and providing data management, administration, evaluation, and statistical analysis of all tracked data points. Moonshot, the NCI, and IMPACT have crossover interests in several areas, advancing the understanding of cancer, healthcare delivery, equitable access to care, and removing barriers. With this crossover, we have mission alignment and the potential to achieve true collaborative progress. But the collaboration doesn't stop with Moonshot, the NCI, and IMPACT. A coordinated effort amongst all stakeholders is required to meet this challenge and achieve sustainable change. Through IMPACT, we are engaging with all stakeholders, academic, medical, industry, physicians, caregivers, insurers, policymakers, and regulatory bodies, social welfare programs, community organizations, and most importantly, patients. This simple, no cost solution to Moonshot of language and endorsement will produce a huge return on human investment. We must have language 
that acknowledges ancillary cost as a primary barrier to patient participation in oncology clinical trials, clearly identifies allowable expenses for reimbursement to patients and methodology of reimbursement, and definitively and unquestionably sets apart reimbursement from inducement. This will encourage industry financial support for identified patient ancillary costs for clinical trial participation. And it plays out like this. Billions are spent annually on research to develop cancer drugs. Drugs must be tested and successfully complete FDA clinical trials to get to market where people can use them. Yet very few get approved. Why? The number one reason is lack of patient participation, leading to a clinical trial failure rate of 48%. Patient participation is the number one critical component for successful trial completion, yet only 5% of eligible patients overcome the obstacles to participation. How do we remove obstacles and increase patient enrollment? We relieve patients of the financial burden of participation and engage with industry stakeholders to cover the ancillary costs. How do we do this? By working with the Moonshot team, the FDA, and the NCI to generate language that acknowledges ancillary cost to patients as a barrier to clinical trial participation, promotes industry support of these costs, and removes the stigma of inducement in favor of reimbursement. What does success look like? Completing trials on time, finishing trials on budget, preserving patent years before a drug goes generic, providing compelling financial motivation for industry support through increased sales and profit, removing barriers for patients, increasing trial participation, diversity, and completion rates, getting more drugs to market faster, reducing failure rates, and creating timely and equitable access to the new treatments people need to stay engaged in their fight with cancer. This is literally a win-win-win. These are the faces of cancer. Speaking from the patient perspective, collaboratively we have the opportunity to check the mission accomplished box. Our impact partners represent the best in cancer care, research, academia, public health, and policy. This is a no-cost opportunity to resolve a historical and multilateral problem with a unilateral solution. We are proud of our affiliation with USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center in USC, Massachusetts General Hospital, Harvard, Drexel University, Thomas Jefferson University, Sidney Kimmel Cancer Center at Jefferson, University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and we are currently engaging with the University of Ohio their amazing Orion program and, the St and Stanford University. We have an ever-growing network of investigational sites, 38 of 45 comprehensive cancer centers and 77 more nationwide. And we're receiving inquiries from investigational sites who are interested in learning more about impact and how they can become involved. Vice President Biden and Mr. Simon, please. Don't let 433 words of proposed language stand in the way of the pursuit of life for advanced stage patients through clinical trials and the arrival of new treatments to them. A tank of gas per week for a single mom whose eight-year-old little girl, Nevea has been supported by Lazarex and traveling between Sacramento and San Francisco to her trial for more than half of her life. Airfare and lodging for a stage four melanoma patient, JR, who's achieved remission through participation in three clinical trials. Or for a sarcoma patient, Mike, who against all odds has stable disease after five years and two trials and recently has predicted life expectancy of 10 more. Both JR and Mike are presenting at the Howard University Summit today in DC. In closing, I hope I've helped to sharpen your perspective on the human side of Moonshot and what is possible, but also on what is morally and ethically right. 
In the time I've been addressing you, 32 people have, have been newly diagnosed with cancer, and sadly, 12 have passed from it. We can fix this. Thank you for your time, attention, and desire to, to, to do the right thing, and so be it.